Hello, welcome to the part 4 video of chapter 1 of 8th class crop protection and management. In the last video, we studied about sowing. See, our next topic in the crop protection lesson is adding manures and fertilizers. The manures and fertilizers are the nutrients which are added to the soil for the healthy growth of the plants as well as to increase the yield of the crops. If you want more yield, if you want more products, you have to add nutrients. The nutrients are added in the form of manures and fertilizers. So manures and fertilizers are nutrients which are added to the soil or added to the crops to increase the crop yield as well as to develop healthy plants. Okay, so manures and fertilizers are two types of nutrients. See, this is one of the manure. It is a dry cow dung. So cow dung is an example for manure. Then I will show you another manure. See the another manure is, see this one. This is compost. See compost is a manure that we can made even in our home. See we studied in sixth class the plant waste or the fruit waste, vegetable peels etc. can be put in a pit. It can be covered with leaves and soil and that can be converted into compost. So compost is another example for manure. So we have learned two types of manure. One is cow dung and another one is compost. Are you clear? Compost and manure, compost and cow dung are two types of manures. Now let us see about fertilizers. See have you seen uh, fertilizers? See, fertilizers are chemicals. They are chemical nutrients. They are inorganic nutrients which are made in the factories. See, here you can see a bag of urea. This is an example of fertilizer. Then I will show you another example for fertilizer. That is, see, uh, not this one. I will show one more. See, this is potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate, you can see, see potassium nitrate. It is another fertilizer. And next, I will show you another fertilizer. One more fertilizer for you. See, uh, the next one is, this is potassium fertilizer. And one more fertilizer I will show you. That is, see, super phosphate. So, I have shown you three ty different types of fertilizer. First one I showed was urea. Next, next one is, uh, I showed for potash fertilizer. Okay. And now you can see the phosphate fertilizer. Okay. These are the three types of fertilizer. See, these three fertilizers are known as NPK fertilizers. Okay, these are called NPK fertilizer. NPK fertilizer means see N for nitrogen and P for phosphorus and K for potash. So NPK nitrogen, phosphorus, K for potassium. So NPK fertilizer. These NPK fertilizers are generally applied in plants for healthy growth. Okay, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium together known as NPK fertilizer. See, the nitrogen. The nitrogen fertilizers are very essential for the growth of leaves. These leaves are very essential for photosynthesis. And see, P, that is phosphorus. P for phosphorus. See, phosphorus is very important for flowering and K, K means potassium 
ओके के इज पोटाशियम दिस पोटाशियम इज एसेंशियल फॉर ओवरऑल ग्रोथ ऑफ द प्लांट सो एन फॉर नाइट्रोजन एन इज नाइट्रोजन एंड पी फॉर फॉस्फरस एंड के फॉर पोटाशियम दीज थ्री फर्टिलाइजर्स टुगेदर नोन एज एन पी के फर्टिलाइजर विच आर वेरी मच एसेंशियल फॉर प्लांट ग्रोथ सी दीज फर्टिलाइजर्स आर यूशली मेड इन factories okay these fertilizers i already showed you see this is see urea urea is a nitrogen fertilizer okay then next one is uh next is see this is phosphate fertilizer सूपर फोस्फेट इज एन एक्सापि फोर सी सूपर फोस्फेट इज एक्सापि फोर फोस्फेट फेटर यूरिया इज नईट्रजन फेटर सूपर फोस्फेट इज फोस्फेट फेटर फोस्फर रिच फेटर एंड तेर्ड वन ई विल शो यू दर्ड वन एक्सापि तेर्ड एक्सापि दट सी दिस् वन दिस् पोटाशियम नईट्रेट potassium nitrate is an example of fertilizer rich in potassium potassium the symbol is k so urea is a nitrogen fertilizer n super phosphate is a phosphate fertilizer and here the potassium nitrate is an example for potassium fertilizer these three fertilizer together known as npk fertilizer which are completely inorganic chemicals made by man and which are prepared in the factories are you clear so now we studied about manures and fertilizer hope you understood this part okay see now let us study the difference between fertilizers and manures see fertilizers are purely inorganic and they are chemical substances okay fertilizers are inorganic whereas manures are natural and organic they are derived from the organic waste that's why they are called organic and see the fertilizers are completely made in factories whereas we can prepare the manures even in our backyards or in our field okay so they we, we can prepare the manures in our homes or field see the most important thing another thing is that fertilizers see the humus content humus content is very less whereas the humus content of manure is more it will manures add more humus to the soil and the next different is that see of course the fertilizers are rich in nutrients okay different types of nutrients nitrogen phosphorus and potassium we studied such nutrients are more in case of fertilizer but the nutrients wise manure is little bit back and another most important property we have to i have to tell the difference is that see the fertilizers cause pollution okay it will make the soil polluted it will make the water also polluted whereas see the manures do not cause pollution okay do not cause pollution so the, these are the difference between fertilizers and manure it is very important for tree mark see the fertilizer are in organic nature manures are organic nature see the fertilizers are artificial whereas manures are natural these are prepared in factories but manures are prepared in the field and fertilizers can increase uh, fertilizers humus is very less whereas in manure the humus is more and fertilizers are rich in nutrients whereas manures less nutrient and the most important difference that is fertilizers can cause pollution okay it is very dangerous can cause pollution both on land and the fertilizers which are added on our land will be taken away to the water bodies including our well and it can cause water pollution but manure will not cause pollution 
see from this what you can understand which you will which one will you choose okay very good definitely we have to choose manures okay because manures will not cause land pollution or water pollution okay now let us see the another important part that is the advantages of manure see if you are asked to select fertilizers and manure which one will you choose manure okay very good you have to choose manure why see manure can increase the water holding capacity of the soil okay it can increase the water holding capacity of the soil see it will make the soil porous okay that means if the soil is porous more rain water will infiltrate into the soil the rain water will easily move inside the soil but if you put fertilizer it will make the soil so tighten so that the rain water will not go inside okay so you have to select manure so that your land soil will be more porous and see the third advantage see it increase the number of friendly microorganisms see number of friendly microorganism see many microorganisms like bacteria are very essential for increasing the fertility of the soil but when you put fertilizers it will kill the microbes and it will make your soil non fertile okay so if you put manure it will increase the friendly microorganism and the final thing is that manure never cause pollution okay manure will not cause pollution so these are the advantages of adding manure okay these questions usually appear in your exam paper what are the advantages of manures okay manures increase the water holding capacity manure increase the soil porosity it will increase the uh, friendly microorganism in the soil and make the soil hum humus and it never cause pollution these are the advantages of using manure okay hope you understood this part okay now let us see some alternative methods to increase soil fertility one way is one way of increasing the soil fertility or adding nutrients to the soil is adding manure and fertilizer but if you don't have manure and if you don't have fertilizer how can you increase the soil fertility see there are some alternatives way alternative ways are there let us see these alternative ways of increasing soil fertility see there are three methods i will tell you one method of increasing soil fertility is field fallow method field fallow and second method is crop rotation what is the second method crop rotation and third way is mixed cropping these are the three methods used for increasing soil fertility or adding nutrients to the soil which are the field fallow method crop rotation method and mixed cropping method okay these are the three methods to increase or these are the three methods which are alternatively used if manures or fertilizers are not available we can follow these three methods okay now let us see one by one first one is field fallow see fallow means leaving that means field fallow means leaving the land leaving the just leave the land leaving the land without cultivation okay without cultivation for a season or a year leaving the land without cultivation don't put any crops there just leave the land for a season or a two season so that naturally the soil nutrients will be added up this is called for field follow method 
are you clear the method of leaving the land without cultivation for a season or two to increase the soil nutrients naturally is called field follow method next method is crop rotation see crop rotation means just rotating the crops or changing the crops changing the crops how you can change the crops see consider if you cultivate paddy okay one season you cultivated paddy next season you don't cultivate paddy instead of cultivating paddy we can cultivate legume plants okay why you are cultivating legume plants in the second season see paddy needs lot of nitrogen okay so if you cultivate paddy in a season or two all the nitrogen present in the soil will be used up so again if you cultivate the same paddy what happens you will not get sufficient yield because nutrient nitrogen is not there so if you cultivate legume instead of paddy this legumes will add nitrogen to the soil how nitrogen will be added by legume plants we already know that legume plants have a nitrogen fixing bacteria in its root nodules this nitrogen fixing bacteria are called rhizobium the full name is rhizobium legino leguminosa this rhizobium bacteria absorbs the nitrogen from the atmosphere and it will be added to the soil okay therefore what you are doing you are alternating paddy crops with legume crops okay one season paddy okay and next season what you are doing you are cultivating legumes so this kind of changing or rotating the crops season after season or year after year in order to increase the soil nutrients is called crop rotation okay now let us see the third method that is called mixed cropping what is mixed cropping see in the name itself mixed cropping see in the same land okay you can cultivate legumes okay you cultivate some uh, vegetables okay you cultivate some other plant beans that beans and a legume plant okay then leaf green leaf okay so in the same land you are cultivating different 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 types of crops okay that means when one crop utilizes a particular nutrient other crop may add a nutrient to the soil okay this kind of cultivation increase the soil nutrients so cultivation of different types of crops in the same field okay is known as mixed cropping this will increase the nutrient content of the soil so these are the three way of increasing the soil nutrients instead of adding manure or fertilizer which are the three method first one i said field follow method okay field follow method is the first one what is the second one tell me second one is crop rotation okay crop rotation and the third method is known as mixed cropping okay mixed cropping these are the three ways by which you can increase the soil nutrient in the soil nutrient and add nutrients to the crops hope you understood this video okay thank you